In this video, we will learn how to eliminate render blocking resources. So what are these resources and how you can actually rectify it on your WordPress or non WordPress website. So hey guys, my name is Raman and welcome to another episode of Core Web Vital and uh, another episode of Core Web Vital Masterclass. So what is render blocking resources and how it impact on your website? See, you may have a multiple scripts or a style sheets uh, linked on your web page that you are having your audit on. Like uh, here in my case, here in my case, I have been auditing on my main website and the performances you are seeing is just for the demonstration purposes. I am deliberately deleting all those impacted files and showing you the errors that are actually incurring on this code web vital page. So what you need is if you want to practice it with me you, you should go to the web.dev and go to the major section and start auditing your website so it will only audit that particular page not your entirely website so you have to take this into consideration if you are doing for every page of your website you have to audit every page here so leaving that apart now in this video we will eliminate render blocking resources so whenever you run any audit so it will give all the opportunities you can actually rectify on your website and the first is render blocking resources render blocking resources actually impacts on your first paint of your website and here you can see the tree map here here as you can see the three first three paint of my website is black and then it start getting my first paint so what does that mean is there are some resources that are render blocking it and there's a multiple methods you can actually rectify it and if you see there's a brief which files are actually render blocking my website or first paint so there's a two normalize.css and there's a select two dot main dot css so these are linked via my cdn and it the potential savings are about one second and another is 0.1 second so if it is matter to you and it the potential savings are much higher then you should go and delete this or you can defer it or async it like we have done in the previous videos so in this video what we are going to do is uh, here i will tell you how to use only critical part of the css that actually impacts or have a styles on your the page you are actually auditing on and the next will be we will be deferring or assign this particular style sheet like we have done previously so if you want more information on this you can just always click on the learn more the library of this documentation is very vast and you can find each and every thing in this documentation if you don't understand anything of it but if you are not a uh, code friendly or html friendly or something like that then you should just skip it away or hire someone if you have a developer then just give this video to them or just give this manual to them they will be, take care of it so as you can see which uh, url gets blocked if your renders blocking sources are javascript file then you can defer it or async it like we have done it previously we will do that also in this video if you have a style sheet there may be a, some part of the style sheet that have an impact on your current web page what does that mean there's maybe a, some attributes of style or i will say some rule or i will say some selector in style sheet are actually being used on your web page and to detect that which is actually using it which part is actually using you can just link it up as a style tab here let me tell you how so here i have been having only dot css files here uh, there are two css files as it says the transfer size is about this so it doesn't matter to my website because it's very low and i don't care about this but if you have a multiple files here maybe a css or javascript so i will be doing first the css file as i can see is normalize.css and if i open it but first thing i see is the css file is not minified okay it doesn't matter for this particular part we will be doing that in the later part of the playlist so if i go to my website here webby.com just click on the inspect element or press f12 key and here you will see the coverage tab if you don't see the coverage tab just type Control plus shift plus p you will see the command and here when you type the coverage here coverage command is show co coverage it will open this particular tab here and to show this tab let me just go and click the record button so it will start downloading it and to get all the data just reload that so here as, as you can see the the two files which impacting my render blocking resources are normalize.css and here is select to dot min dot css as you can see here the, the blue mark is being used on this page and the red marks is unused so what you can do is just copy this style okay whatever the css styles are being used as you can see 
in the blue part which you can do is just select those css rule you can add it manually on your web page how you can do that like here is the selector which i need i'm just demonstrating it just go going to the code pen to show you or opening the view so how you can do it is for in the html like here you have a doc html or in the html after the body section or the after the head section or just before closing head section you can add a style tag here in between that style tag you can add your css styles like this and close it down so what it does is it will you are only adding all those css selectors or css rules that are actually have an impact on the current page not the other ones that are being unused so you can just link or delete this file a whole file from it or you can add a async or defer rule to every style should you have so there's the two way to do it so first we'll be adding the used css rules in this particular format in between style code here in between style tag such that it will only use those selectors that are being have an impact or being used by this particular page and for the unused you can just put the file there i know your developer or maybe your designer been using this in to your header or a footer for entire website so you can just leave it there but add a rule of defer such that it will only such that browser will only download the code that has been used on this page and improve your first paint so that's how you can actually do it and the same thing is for the javascript and if you are actually not comfortable with it or adding any code to your website or adding diff code splitting or something like that then you should go for the services that we offer in the link in the description box where we will help you out for your website so if you have a non wordpress website then you can easily do that with the step that i mentioned above and same thing is for the javascript you can add a defer or async code to it so how you can actually do it like here let me go to the footer section here and just below the footer as you can see there is a script called lazy sizes where we have added the lazy load plugin to our website so you should watch that video also if you want to know and here we have added the async tag to our attribute to it it direct the browser to download after each and every or important part of the page is being downloaded and after that you can access this so that's what these tag do this just defer or delay the download of such files so that's how you can do it you can also add the defer to it just like async to it so in the style sheet part let me tell you i'm going to the header style sheets are usually added on the header so here as you can see the style has been added in the style and closing style attribute or i would say a tag so only the critical part of css has been added separately and for those style sheets that you want browser to delay it you can add just defer or async to it just like that or you can add a sync to it so it will lay the download process of your website so make sure it is only on that particular page that you are auditing and if your style is on the header okay just like mine so it has an impact on entire website okay so you need to mention that or you can just add a sync to it or lazy load to it such that it will at least load after the page has been loaded so i will suggest you to only add defer or async where your current page has been impacted not on all the pages so so that's how you can do the code splitting of this to eliminate render blocking resources you can also delete it if you don't need such css on your page then you can just delete it and it will impact positively so that's how you can render block your critical or non critical resources so for the critical part just add your style separately and for the non critical part just delete that or defer or async that i hope you have known by now if you prefer to read this you can just go to the link in the description box where i have put an article to it so that is for the non wordpress website and for the wordpress website you can do is one thing which i have been telling my all my users to use a cache plugin and ca for the cache plugin i suggest you to use wp rocket so when i go to my blog so what you need to do is go to the wp rocket and follow the link in the description box where we have a link to the download this particular plugin so here what you can do is for the render blocking 
you can easily optimize your CSS as well as JS file or the static file. Here is the file optimization. You can combine CSS files, optimize delivery. You can just select all these selection to eliminate random blocking resources. As you can see here is the load JavaScript deferred, which we have done for non WordPress website to add a async or defer to it. So here you can see the load deferred to then eliminate render blocking JS. So what I was talking to you is it add all the code automatically. And if we see the code on my blog section, which is on the WordPress at search for the defer part here, as you can see, you see this. So these are the JS file, which is being linked on my website and it has an attribute called defer. So that means it will delay the loading of this particular script. It denotes the browser, which user are using to download other part of the website and then delay that particular scripts or non critical scripts so that's about it so that's how you can eliminate render blocking sources if you have learned something from this just click the like button if you have questions in mind you have a comment box with you so if you want to learn such videos in the future you have a subscribe button the big red button just click on that it will boost our morale to post more and more technical videos like this so see you in the next video until then bye bye